Good afternoon, students and faculty. Welcome to the first annual school Quidditch match. This year we have Hogwarts against uh, the honorable team from Darkstraw. Now, Harry, my boy, go out there and give it your best. Let the games begin. Professor Dumbledore, I, I, I saw something in in the ball. I need you to come to my office. There's something there that you need to see. Can't you see there's a game going on? Why don't you just tell me? I saw a bad omen. It's only an omen, my dear Cybele. In secret they plan his demise. Under the third full moon they steal the brave. On that day in cold blood they rise. The place that was his home will be his grave. Place that was his home will be his grave. Uh, hello? Who's there? Severus Snape. It's been a while. My, my lord. Couldn't stay around your dear Dumbledore? Dumbledore is a fine man, and I'm sure he's deserved the attention of everyone else. He's a nice man, Severus, but he's old. He's just too senile old man, Severus. Anything, Dumbledore is aged with grace. He is anything but a senile old man. He ages with far less grace than you will, good, kind Severus. He doesn't possess the skills that you have. But the children, the students, they love him. They'll love him until he takes away what true potential they really possess. Dumbledore, Dumbledore needs to retire by force if necessary. By force? Miss Strange, did you watch the end of the match? I did, sir. What was the outcome? Potter won. After the match, he walked up to a microphone and offered Dumbledore the position of Minister of Magic. Potter, Potter did what? Aye, three times even. Each time, however, he was more hesitant in denying the offer. I thought he was going to accept the last time. He said no, kind of reluctantly. Dumbledore did faint. He shook and shook, and they had to call Madame Pomfrey up to give him some special medicine that he forgot to take. His hand was all bruised and black. Thank you, Lestrange. I'll be back tomorrow. Should I kill Dumbledore? He only has as much merit as any other professor, but everyone seems to love him. He's been a good friend to me, but of late he seems to have lost his way. The Dark Lord and his followers, do they want what's best for the students? Do I? Do the students care that Professor Dumbledore breaks his own rules? Shouldn't he be punished for those mistakes? I told you I would be back. Lord Voldemort, what a surprise. I've brought some friends to help you make your important decision. Potter is an oddity. Mr. Snape, one that will be silenced very soon. Potter is an annoyance, but is it necessary to silence him permanently? Don't tell me you have some sort of connection with the boy, or is it his parents? The Dark Lord hit a nerve, did he? Watch your tone, Miss Lestrange. In any case, if you think Potter won't be a problem alive, I have no problem. If he does become an inconvenience, however, he will be yours to deal with, Severus. I find that entirely reasonable, my lord. Does this mean you're convinced? Not entirely. Do we know what the students want? Snape, all the students in my class, save Mr. Potter and his acquaintances, hate Albus Dumbledore's unfair ways and total disregard of the procedures. Frankly, they'll be glad of his departure. So then we get rid of him. Surely we can do that without murdering him. It is not murder. Thank you for your contribution, mm. Greyback. However, that will be quite enough. Are you in or not, Severus? I... I... Think of the children. Think of his health. Think of the blood on your hands and the Elder Wand. Bellatrix! Sorry, my lord. Well, Severus? I... I'll do it. Do what, Severus? Uh, nothing, Narcissa. It doesn't concern you. 
Severus, who was that in such a tight circle around you? It was only some colleagues. No one of importance. Colleagues? Death Eaters or Hogwarts teachers? It is not of your concern. If it was of your concern, I would tell you of such. I don't see how this could not be of a concern to me. If anything, this concerns me more since you won't tell me. Are you not bound by an unbreakable vow to tell me of such? Narcissa, I am only bound to protect your son. I am not bound to discuss matters that are not of that importance. Go see who it is. We will have words later, Severus. Do not forget this. It's time for me to serve my day. Come in. Pardon me, Albus, but I just had a disturbing vision. I'm sorry, Minerva, but I have a professional conference to attend. That's the thing. I don't think you should go to this conference. Albus, I've had visions. They petrified your body and set the three broomsticks on fire. Oh the students played in your ashes. Oh Please, stay alive, oh Albus. Stay home. If you insist... I shall stay to humor you. Thank you. Hmm. No Malfoy. Professor Dumbledore, are you ready to attend the convention? I'm afraid to let you know, but I shall not be attending today. You must attend, dear sir, for all the other wizards will be expecting the great Dumbledore, the only one who Lord Voldemort has ever feared. <laughs> I'm sure that is an understatement, uh, Mr. Malfoy. I'm sure that there is some sort of... Uh... Professor Dumbledore, I implore you to attend. I don't think that's such a good idea, Mr. Malfoy, uh, but I thank you for your kind words. Imagine not only kind words, but the attention of all the wizards all over the world. You make an interesting point, sir. You can't be serious. I have made up my mind, Minerva. Mr. Malfoy, please, take me to the convention. With pleasure. Dear Professor Dumbledore, I've just had word from Aragog that you heard the Dark Lord is back and that he's planning for your death. Sir, you've got to get out of there. I hear someone saw him take a room in the Three Broomsticks. If you're going there today, go home. He's got all his death eaters in on it. Oh, Professor Dumbledore! Hopefully you can walk by and I can pass this note to you all surreptitious-like. In secret they planned his demise. Under the third full moon they steal the brave. On this day in cold blood they rise. The place that is his home is going to be his grave. Malfoy told me there would be ambassadors from all the schools. And the Minister of Magic? Perhaps they're late, or have been detained for some unknown reason. Good afternoon, Professor Dumbledore. Stupefy! Expelliarmus! Crucio! Ah! I... I'm sorry. Even you, Severus? Avada Kedavra! I think our work here is done. I heard noises coming from downstairs. Is everything alright? Dumbledore! Professor Dumbledore! Did you all do this? Not just I, Harry Potter. Professor Snape? Don't act so surprised, Potter. And shouldn't you be in class? Ten points from Gryffindor. What? Professor Dumbledore is dead! Arrangements will be made for his funeral service, and... If you want, Potter, you may speak at his funeral service. Now get back to class before I take more points from Gryffindor. Attention students, your beloved headmaster, Dumbledore, has been murdered. Dumbledore was acting solely for himself and only to gain power in the magical world. We believe you, Snape. Here comes one of our own students, the Potter Boy, who will be allowed to say a few words on behalf of Dumbledore's death. I am here to lay rest in Professor Dumbledore's service uh, and of any of his wrongdoings but not to needlessly praise him. Professor Snape said that Dumbledore was not in the right mental state to run Hogwarts. I don't deny it, but I do know of all the wonderful things he did to protect this school. He saved a countless- I follow Harry. So fellow students, staff, and faculty, let us lay to rest our dear Professor Dumbledore. And I'll retire to the room of requirement.
need to find Ron. I will avenge you, Dumbledore.